This example of presenting a proof uses forward reasoning, especially the rule modus ponens. We have given the name to this example relaxing, although that will not be explained until the proof has been presented. The proof will be using simply the symbols P, Q, S, and R. The premises that we have in this case are P, P implies Q, and Q or S imply R. The conclusion we seek is R. Let's think a bit about how we would obtain R from those premises. And the thinking we're going to do goes backwards, even though the proof to be presented will go forwards. Look at the premises and see that we could get the conclusion R were we to know Q or S. We can obtain Q from the second premise were we to know P, and we actually have P because it's the first premise. With those things in mind, let's present our proof. First, we will put down our three premises. We don't have to put them down first. We don't have to put them down in order. We could use them later, but it's simple just to get them out of the way and put them down first. Now, we see from the first premise that P is true, and from the second premise, P implies Q. So using our rule modus ponens, we can conclude Q. That's Line 4, Q is obtained using modus ponens from lines 1 and 2. Now, we see line 3 could get us to R. That's the conclusion we see. But we don't have Q or S right now. We only have Q. But simply by using the addition rule, we can conclude Q or S for any S. That's addition from line 4. Now we're ready to use modus ponens one more time from line 3 to get line 6, which is R, the conclusion, modus ponens applied to lines 3 and 5. The proof was presented in a purely symbolic form, but here is a story to go with it. We called it relaxing. Suppose we are given that Peter is home, the home will be quiet when Peter is home, and if the home is quiet, or, if it is Tuesday, it's easy to relax. We prove that it's easy to relax. Here are the names that we will be assigning to these basic statements. P will represent Peter is home. Q will represent the home is quiet. S represents it is Tuesday. And R represents it's easy to relax. Now, the premise that we obtain from the story above is, first, that Peter is home. Secondly, that if Peter is home, the home will be quiet. And thirdly, if the home is quiet or it is Tuesday, it's easy to relax. Once again, the conclusion we seek is that it is easy to relax. The proof that we presented previously shows that from those three premises, we can obtain that conclusion.